The following program is a production of WLRN Public Television. It's almost that time of year again when arts lovers are gathering together for that mega international event, Art Basel. We're now going to take you to the Wynwood Arts District, which is known for its emerging and cutting edge art, to see what many of these young artists are cooking up for Art Basel. Hi, I'm Robert Parenti. I'm the director of the Mayor's Office of Film and Cultural Affairs for the City of Miami. I know it was a daunting task last year to see all of the Art Basel Miami Beach events, especially in only four days. And that's probably because a good portion of them take place right in the city of Miami. The Arts District are roughly bordered on the west by Interstate 95, on the north by Interstate 195, on the south by Interstate 395, and on the east by Biscayne Boulevard. So let's now take a look at the major art fairs that take place in those arts districts. NADA, Scope Miami, Design Miami 06, and of course, Photo Miami, the new addition to the group. So I'm here as your unofficial guide to the most concentrated area of arts exhibits outside the main show, right here in Miami's arts districts. My name is Amber Meda. I'm the director of Design Miami. Design Miami is the new forum for collecting, exhibiting, discussing and creating design. And we have a number of satellite exhibitions. We will also stage a number of design talks. They will be showing post-war to contemporary design. And this design is mainly unique or limited edition pieces. It's primarily furniture design. It used to be phrased as decorative arts. This is Elastica by Zaha Hadid, the architect and she won the Designer of the Year Award for 2005. The permanent installation will be here for this year's event. Art Basel is certainly the most important art uh, event that happens in the art world, and it's put Miami on the international map, certainly. And people come in from all over the world to buy art and to consume culture. It's really done um, a great deal for the city of Miami and for the art world in, in general. Hi, my name's Heather Hubbs. I'm the director of the NADA Art Fair. NADA stands for the New Art Dealers Alliance, and we are a nonprofit arts collective based in New York City. This will be our fourth edition of the fair here in Miami. We'll have 82 galleries from 20 countries and about 1,000 artists from all over the world showcased at the fair. All media will have paintings, sculpture, video, installations, emerging artists, um, and it's contemporary. It's being made now. <laughs> the artists are still alive. Um, most of them are very young. This is the Ice Pals um, film studios and we take over the entire building so the fair is everywhere inside that you see there. Just think, it takes about one week to transform this space into a room filled with some of the most amazing young contemporary work in the world. People sit on the lawn and we have hammocks hanging in the palm trees so they, you know, it's, it's very much a, a social place outside and the cafe is over there under the, um, in that sort of open loggia area. The fair is free and open to the public, so we encourage you to come by at any time and to bring whoever you like. Goodbye. Hi, my name is Tim Fleming. I am the director of Photo Miami. Uh, we are down here uh, for the first time during Art Basel on Miami Beach. First and foremost, the event is a contemporary art fair. Most of the work is media-based, so video, projection, uh, performative, time-based works, uh, some sound art, a lot of uh, photography. We've done Photo LA in Los Angeles for about 16 years. What we wanted to do, though, was really reinvent uh, what a photography fair could actually be, and where else uh, to do that than the avant-garde weekend uh, of the art world down in Miami. So we're, we're presenting 45 galleries, local and international. I'm a photographer based in Miami, and I'm going to be presenting two pieces in Photo Miami. For the last, let's say, four years, I've been associated with Art Basel, and I think Photo Miami is a great uh, opportunity. A cafe and such will be set up outside here, an upstairs video lounge, but the bulk of the fair is, is happening 
right inside these doors. 34,000 square feet of empty raw space, um, completely wide open for us to do absolutely anything, media-based. Uh, there is an admission charge. Uh, it's a $10 one-day pass. Hi, my name is Alexis Hubschman. I'm the founder and director of the Scope Art Fairs. We're here in Roberto Clemente Park about to unveil our Field of Dreams for Scope Miami. 2006, we'll be presenting 90 galleries, a uh, good 300 artists from about 15 to 18 countries, as well as dovetailing about 25 to 30 projects, installations, sculptures, video projections, film. Um, we're pretty excited to be here this year, and in fact, we're going to be building a 40,000 square foot pavilion. It takes about 30 to 40 men to build this. It takes about five days. We're utilizing approximately 60,000 square feet of uh, flame retardant vinyl, so there's 40,000 square feet of carpeting and flooring. Augustina is going to be one of our banner artists. In fact, her project will be uh, about a thousand blades of grass, reducing most of our jaded and wonderful viewers to a, a childlike level to enjoy this art in a way that uh, maybe they're not used to. They would be stuck all like these together using 800 pounds of this fiber field to fill them all up. So that's a lot. Classically, we give about $100,000 away at least in artist awards. This, for this fair alone, we gave $55,000 away. So there's $10 admission charge, but Wednesday the 6th, we're opening free to the public, and we're calling it our free view. So all day, we'll be working with kids from the community. So you can see that just between these four art fairs, there are literally thousands of artists to see outside of our Basel, Miami Beach. And there are literally thousands of more to see in other fairs, museums, and galleries throughout Miami-Dade County. Miami, uh, uh, South Beach, bring the heat, uh, <laughs> can y'all feel that, can y'all feel that?